How's it going, boys? So today we're finally putting the nail in the coffin with the Mutate decks. This is the best Mutate deck I have come up with. And you have probably seen something like this, because I'm pretty sure this is the best kind of Mutate deck you can, well, make. Which is honestly a bit saddening, but hey. So, four Incubation Druids, four Gifts of Paradisio Druids, two Chadwills, two Looming Boys, four Dire Bats, uh, two Insatiable Hemophages, uh, two Gemg Razors, uh, four Migratory uh, Great Horns, four Auspicious Staraxes, two Chittering Harvesters, four uh, Emergent Ultimatums, and two Great Henges. And land-wise, nothing too special, just two Fable Passages and 24 lands to be specific. So, this deck is a little bit different because it has Emergent Ultimatum and Great Henge. I honestly don't know what the uh, default black and green uh, mutate deck puts in in the last six slots, but hey, here here it is. You're gonna see why Emergent Ultimatum and Grand, Grand, uh, Grand, the Great Hinge is good. It just gives you additional options if the first part failed. So it's technically pretty okay-ish. So, let's just get it cracking and see what happens. The deck is reasonably good. Not the greatest thing in the universe, but hey, maybe it is. Maybe I'm just lying to you. And we have a Paradisio Druid and a Great whatever it's called. Which is probably the better start possible. You want your, Im in well, immovable objects, not really immovable objects. But you want your great paradisios with your great mutate thingies. <clears throat> also, this is a chance for me to prove that I actually understand how mutate works. Even though it does seem like extremely, well, not abrupt per se, but unbelievable that I do know how mutate works. I do. No, seriously, boys, I, I, I actually know how mutate, mutate works. It, it, it does sound like a lie. I am completely aware of that, but I do. And, well, you know, that's a thing. Also, whatever he drops will be 100% controlled with the hand we have. And after that, it's just a good old, same old, wait and see what happens, shizzle, nizzle, bizzle, pizzle. Oh, yes, boys. It's that kind of situation. Oh. My god. I'm gonna mutate this probably, huh? Because we don't exactly care what he does. There's no way he ever gets rid of this. Considering this is a 4-6. Uh, and this is pretty much the best this deck will ever perform. And finally it's time to get, get the islands. Oh yes! What can you do now, enemy Kun? Absolutely nothing. I own you. So, the big combo here is... Usually people don't put in the Great Hinge, but the Great Hinge gives you a plus one one and draws a card for everything, absolutely everything, that comes on the board. What the hell is this heresy now? I, f I, I suddenly feel threatened. No, seriously, what the hell is this? Well, it doesn't matter even one tiny little sh tid tidbit, shred bit bit, <clears throat> because trust me, boys, I'm a scientist. Okay, so now we just mutate this bad boy, put it there, and... Fly it on top! Fly it on top! Ah, perfect. Perfection! Ah, yes! Absolutely great. Ah, good times. No one expects that. Perfect. Absolutely majestic. Okay, and don't attack. See, I told you I know how mutate works. Flyers go on top. It's like a rule of law at this point. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Phew. For a moment there, I thought I'm going to be punished for my stupidity. But thankfully, that almost never happens. Now, let's let's actually put the big one, because I'm afraid he has some vipes or whatever. And, you know, that would be counterproductive, to say the least. Okay, a bunch of stuff has been acquired, and the graveyard submissions, and it's still bugged. You need to press- oh god, you need to press- oh, you can't press the back? Okay, this is bad. Pass turn, does that actually do anything? Yeah, the, the, the looming shaman tends to be bugged nowadays for some reason. You see, you can't do anything at this point. Uh, essentially, we win. 
But yeah. How how how? how a kilo game? Amazing. No cards in the graveyard. Come on. Pass. Submit. Time's up. Let's go. Let's do this. Nothing? Yep, nothing. So yeah. Uh, indie development. You can't honestly ask a lot from them. <clears throat> because if you do, that's a mistake. That's just flat out a mistake. Uh, cl I, I, honestly, it's, it's a classic. You know, it happens. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Maybe he surrenders because he's thinking I'm an asshole. Well, he's not technically wrong there, but you know, still. Uh, <clears throat> and you see, if we have a great hinge, every one of the, these three things gets a plus one on it, and it draws you a card. Which effectively removes the weakness of mutate. Because the only reasonable way you actually get stuff done with mutate is if you have blue. But all blue mutation cards are absolutely dumpster fires. Good, finally. It went away. Nice. Okay. What the hell is this deck? It's it's just a lot of discards. Hello? And he surrenders. Uh, so yeah, that was definitely something. Not sure exactly what, but it was something, and it was not all that impressive. But yeah, this is a mutate deck, as you can clearly probably tell by the fact that it has mutate in the deck. I'm not sure, maybe someone missed that, but that's what this deck does. And it sometimes is kind of good, because again, if you don't have an AoE board wipe, it's really tough with dealing a mutate with hexproof for some reason. So, there is that. Okay, so this is an auspiciously not that even remotely bad hand. Great stuff. We have this, which fits, uh, fetches us a hinge and pretty much anything else that we want, and we have this, which fetches us pretty much everything we usually don't want. But, it's a life, and we probably lose because that's blue and white. Admittedly, I am seeing no companion, so maybe this guy does not know what's happening. So, there we have it. Also, some someone commented on my companion decks that it's amazing that I actually have the companion as a companion, not a default card, but hey. You know, it, it happens to the best of us even. And this is pretty good. We're gonna mutate that, we're gonna get that, and then we're gonna cast this, and it's gonna be amazing. <clears throat> Usually people, for some reason, essentially just give you the hinge for a, for w w what could be considered 100% freebies. Which I personally do not understand in the slightest, but hey. Someone does it, and that's absolutely fine. Okay, here did this bad boy mutated. Let's get out of Greenland. Do I even need a green? I have no idea. But, I'm gonna bet my lower uh, my lower left testicle that it's gonna be fine. I, I trust in the heart of the cards. Remember, boys, Yu-Gi-Oh! Is definitely a thing. Okay, so he's just gonna bounce Tess as a rockle. Why do I feel threatened by all of this, what's happening? Is he, uh, is he an agent of treachery player? God, I hope not. That would be absolutely disgusting. So, what's the chances he can kill that? I don't know, but I am willing to take those chances to the next level. And let's put this over. Because it's not flying, we don't exactly care. Uh, let us get a bluish land for no reason. And that was a bunch of stuff. Ah, Chadwin. That's actually not even that bad. Okay, boys. <clears throat> by the way, this is by far the worst ultimatum. I was I, I was considering Genesis ultimatum just because it's so much better than this crap. You know, and all I would need to do is uh, insert a bunch of random color uh, colored lands, and it would still be fine. You know, may a two color deck to a three color deck, no problem. A two color deck to a four color deck, uh, maybe a little bit questionable. You know what I'm saying? Also, that's the sad- OH MY GOD! That is the saddest thing I have seen in my life. Oof. 
Yeah, big oof. Okay, I'm gonna block this. There's no reason not to, right? Okay, as long as we play a great hinge, I, I feel that we can be okay. I, I feel we, that we can be uh, one with nature and whatnot. This is not gonna be that bad, boys. Trust me. Okay. Okay, two, two ultimatums. That's definitely not that bad. So, we want one hinge. One of these bad boys. And one of... Where is it? These things. So essentially, now he is stuck between a rock and something that is uh, pretty close to a rock density-wise, but not, not exactly a rock. Okay, and when we kill this, we get all our MacGuffins back. Admittedly, they're not fused like the big boys that they are, so you press this first and then you press this. If you don't do that in ex that exact sequence, I'm gonna be extremely mad because this is free card draw at this point, lads. Okay, this is not that bad. This is, well, still not that bad. Okay, let's let's put that MacGuffin back in and we have... Oh no, we still have it. Nice! Okay, so next we can mutate this on this and then we can do the sus auspicious Starax combo. And if he can't get rid of this crab... He can get... Boys, he can get rid of the crab creature. Boys, he got rid of the crab creature. What now? God damn it. Okay, okay. Don't panic. No one panic. Just yet. I'll tell you when to panic. But not yet. Okay, we got a land. Now it's time to panic. So we do this. And we hope for the best. And no one wants to look at the looming shaman. So we obviously put it there. Okay, amazing. Now we do this, and hopefully it's a little bit better. Okay, 10 out of 10. I'm probably gonna get something big. Get that land out. And more lands. Uh, enter tapped. I'm not sure what that does. Maybe something. Okay, uh, it didn't exactly do a lot, but it's fine. So we're gonna be playing this. And no, no matter what happens, we're drawing two cards. So technically it's all good in the hood. So, as you can see, with a great hinge, previously, you would just absolutely rage quit, flip the table, hit table, con kiss the table, con and say it's, it was your fault. And I'm not sure how the fuck is this gonna work now. Enemy con? I think you made a... No, wait, did you make an oopsie? I think you made an oopsie. When, uh, when a non-creature, uh, non-token creature enters the battlefield, yeah, thanks for the three card draw, I appreciate it for whatever reason, enemy con, 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah, so, 10 out of 10, really, like, amazing, thank you, enemy con, you, you, you did great. What, 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 what can I say, you did great! Oh, don't take my moth! God damn it, he took the moth. Okay. Uh, really need to get that one back, not gonna lie. Okay, uh, more things. Fable Passage, I'm pretty sure there's at least one thing we can get back here. Okay, so do it like this. Okay, that's, that's absolutely amazing. Now do this for free because reasons. Ah, yes, free stuff. Okay, not the exactly free stuff that I wanted, but now we can evolve this thing into a different kind of Pokemon. Now, I'm not, I'm not exactly what this uh, evolves into, because again, uh, you know, left my Pokedex at home. I know heresy. Am I right or am I right? But still. Okay, and now we get this, and... What else? No, seriously, what else? Probably a hamster? Yeah, that's fine. Well, enemy con, it's your choice. As you can see, it's, well, it's not exactly in your favor now. Okay, so we got that, and we got this. And that still gives us enough card draw to be, like, severely powerful. Okay, we got the kangaroo, that's, that's absolutely amazing. Let's evolve this on that, and put it over. Yes. I, I, I feel how that triggers people. Uh... Wait, does this... Oh, wait, I can destroy that. That's cool. I didn't even think about that one. Well, nice. 
And as you can see, this is essentially how things happen. It's pretty, it, it's pretty cheesy, I know, but it's all, it, it's, it's all part of, uh, it's all a part, a part of the grand stratagem. Okay, he obviously sags that, he sags that, no one cares. He still gets a little bit, uh, hippity-bippity in the face. And we have one more emergent ultimatum, you know, if, in case anything happens. And as you can see, this deck does pop off and it pops off. But most of my decks pop off and they pop off. So it's not technically all that, well, uh, astonishing. Okay, so you're gonna do that. Uh, Sugoi enemy kun, definitely what you would call Sugoi. But sooner or later, I'm gonna get a free uh, Batra. And well, then your fun is gonna end. Hopefully, at least. So let's see, we do this. We play this. And yes, and he surrenders. Because obviously we don't even need to do all that MacGuffin crap. We still win. Easiest almost win of my life. So yeah, this deck has ways of achieving what it wants to achieve. Because the Great Hinge combo in this case is pretty goddamn slick if I do say so myself. You're playing a Mutate deck. So no one exactly fears the Henge, because normally Mutate does not work with Henge. But suddenly, here, because of absolute shabazzlery madness, we have created a MacGuffin that actually works for some reason. Now I know, it seems scary, and trust me, boys, it is scary, because I told you it's scary. It's scary. Let's, let's just leave it at that. Also, this thing is pretty cool. I like the art. It's like a, you know, thing. And that's holes. You know? Okay. We got the Paradisio waifu. And we're gonna mate her with this great horn. And it's probably gonna be pretty disgusting. But that's, that's the price we're paying here. So it's gonna be all good in the hood. Also, put that bad boy on there. And let's find, uh... Island. We have the ultimatum, so there's no reason not to find it. Then we're gonna evolve it with this, and then we're gonna evolve it with the statics. And it's gonna be probably not that bad. Oh yes, at the bare minimum we're getting a little bit more uh, ramp. Admittedly, at this point I would be a little bit more fan of the things. Also, this does not die to Ritual of Sut. Which is honestly a little bit insanely overpowered, but considering uh, rarely nowadays people use Riddle of Set, it's a little bit understandable. So, this costs 5, this costs 6, so there's no reason not to just do it like this, huh? And let's put this one over, because a giant Sasquatch is just so much better. Alright, and that's an enchantment! I completely forgot! Boys! That was an enchantment creature. I completely forgot. That was not even my intent to do a good play. But hey, we did it. We absolutely mad lad style did it. And now it's, uh, you know, an oaks or whatever the hell that is. And let's get the island. So, you know, stuff happens. And that's three things. Amazing. 10 out of 10. And next turn, we're gonna do this, which is... And he just surrenders. Yeah, mutate decks. If you're lucky, you're gonna be winning. Even against aggro decks, you have that chance for that last dance. Admittedly, against aggro decks, it's always a struggle, Snuggle. But, I am one of those people who does enjoy a struggle, Snuggle. Hehehe. <laughs> 2.5%. Struggle snuggle time? No, it's not. Creepy. Get the fuck out! Okay. So, onward we go. Purple. Got it. Okay. Uh, two pet incubation druids and two of these things. Now, it's not perfection at its finest, but it's definitely something that we can abuse. Also, the art for this one is pretty good, but admittedly, while the art is good, uh, the icon for whatever the hell this is, is absolutely disgusting and I hate it and I want it gone from my magic. So yeah, but we're gonna be evolving these, uh, uh, evolving the incubation druid with a great horn, 
And if you know what I mean by evolve, well then boys, you know what I mean by evolve. Okay, I'm not gonna block that. That seems risky. That seems like a complete another bait. Oh god, that was probably a bait. Oh, it's still dead. Damn it. Okay, but it's it's fine. We have great Henju timers. Okay, so let's let, let's think about this for a little bit. Does she survive? Probably not with that lava coil active. Okay, more of these MacGuffins. Okay, and more the lava coils. What a time to be alive. Okay, let's try that one just one more time, shall we? Do you have a third lava coil like I had at Incubation Grandma? This is the time. And it's create token creatures. Finally, I can at least block safely. Okay, so... Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so we evolve her. Or mate her with that thing. It's amazing. Uh, we get a black land out, obviously, because reasons, and now we can actually evolve one more time, just for shits and giggles. So, evolving one more time, just for shits and giggles, and we're gonna be taking a black land, and a blue land. Ah, uh, the blue land is bad, though. Say what you will, the blue land is, like, seriously bad. Okay, a noble... Man, everyone is playing Prince Charming now. It's not that great of a card, by the way. It's good in certain decks, but I honestly don't see a reality where Prince Charming is like the be-all, end-all. So yeah, question, question. Okay, amazing, we got a land. We already have plenty of lands, Magic. How about you, you know, like, stop? And this has evolved three times, so if we get an auspicious Arstrix, we're gonna have a good time. Beep! Bomb that for no reason at all. Nice. Yes, it is nice, enemy con. He's probably thinking, this fool does not know how in how mutate, and of course it's gone. God damn it. Can't even pay light. Wait, could I actually have saved it? Ah! I could have! Yeah, no real damage was done. Okay. Okay, now uh, now I feel real damage has been done. Game, stop. I don't need lands. I need stuff. I need MacGuffins. I need things that get me things done. And that's like probably one of the better cards that he could have top decked. Magic, a competitive indie development game. I am seriously gonna... Uh, I am seriously gonna ask for my money back. Okay, so there's pretty much nothing that we... Yeah, that's... That, that's pretty... That's, that's, that's pretty much what I expect from Magic in a nutshell. Okay! Great! Great stuff! No, seriously, I could've adapted that and it would've been fine. But no, I had to abuse the hinge because... Me, 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 guffins, reasons... Well, we would've still lost. Like, we got the land, and that would have still killed us. We could have blocked one thing, but as soon as the flyer comes into the play, we would have lost anyway. So, yeah. Keyboard warriors, please. No, well, well, please continue padding the algorithm. I absolutely adore it. But, you know. Point being. Okay. So, now we know the secret. Well, one of the secrets. That this can kill enchantments. Which means we don't exactly hear, feel, hear, feel something heliod. Okay, the, the sad part only here is the fact that he got to go first. And I want this bad boy to be on field as fast as possible because he's gonna do some amazing MacGuffin magic. And don't drop a... Uh, I really want a block though. Can't. We also have this. Okay, so... The, the plan's like this. Pay life and evolution time, boys. Oh, yes. The best evolution. Put it over and kill Doxos. He looks like a simp, so he should die a simp's death by some kind of crazy Sasquatch. Okay, enemy con. Are you gonna get... Oh, God! Did you just not drop a Heliod? Oh, that's... 
That's so unlucky, enemy Kun. Oh no, the harder. Oh no. Well, honestly, completely amazing. Okay, let's see. Do we want, uh... Yeah, let's take a black land. There's no reason not, right? Oh, that was probably a good reason. Well, shit. Okay, this is good enough, though. Oh, wait, we can still pop one. Okay, risking it for pretty much nothing at this point. But I feel we're gonna get rewarded. You know, boys? Please, please, please don't take... Don't, don't imprison my Sasquatch. I really, I, 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 I really like this Ratatouille guy. Okay, okay. What's that? What? Oh, equal to the devotion to white. That's actually pretty good. Huh. Okay, so what's the plan here? Well, the plan is simple. Drop a great hinge. Make this, uh, make this into a uh, one tree. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now we also have one of these. Which means the combo can go into full fruition mode. What the hell is that? I haven't seen that card in ages at this point. Well, anyway. Ta ta time to do your thing, Stodix. Uh Let's see, do we want to kill this? Yes, we do. Because that's like the combo wombo. Well, one of the combo wombo things. Yeah, I know. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. And bam! More hinge power. Oh, look at that. We can actually play that, huh? But I don't exactly care because now I want to evolve this. And considering I like the art of this a little bit better, we're putting it on top. And that's dead now. Enemy could needs to sack things. That was three lands. Ten out of ten would probably do stuff in MacGuffins again. Sacrifice this thing and see what happens. Okay, we just saw what happens. Nothing too impressive because it only gives us a forest or whatever. And wait, what can this do? All oh, right, it can give us man. No one cares. Uh, let's see. No reason to attack. Oh yes, boys. As you can see, like the the whole dry shoe can just be instantaneously removed with the great hinge. And also, that is absolutely a disgusting combo that I am 100% stealing like that is absolutely no tomorrow. No, seriously, I am stealing that. There is no question about that, boys. Also, how the hell did it get... Oh, gain one life? That's even better. I also like the art. The sword looks bad, but, you know, stuff. Okay, let's see. We want this to die probably sooner rather than later. Oh, look at that. We found the thing that's gonna make it die. Amazing. Okay. Well, obviously over. It's a flyer. You know? And now we want to kill this thing. Again, not because of the combo wombo potential or anything, but just because we can at this point. Uh, we're gonna keep this one. So the hinge has more, more tricks up its sleeve. Oh, yes, boys. Oh, yes. Oh, God. That's a Stodix. Are we close to milling ourselves on accident? I'm assuming yes, but at the same time, I'm not one to make assumptions. I am one to make actions under, obviously. Ah, oh, keep padding that algorithm, uh, you know, boys. Okay, that's a bu Wait, I can pay life for all of this if I want to. So yeah, as you can see, the ride just flat out does not stop. And this is the point where we need to be like really, really, really careful. Because again, I told you, this is gonna mill us. This is 100% gonna mill us if we're not careful. Okay, but, but you, you see how it goes. The Great Hinge is a great additive because it does great things. As the name implies. You know, great as in big. And big things happen. Oh, boys. I'm not to say, but I think a lot of dominance has been established. We even won the game where uh, the, the, the what you might call it, ugly centaur also, uh, tried to completely ruin us. And that's fine. Okay, we have a little bit of mutate options here. Also, this is a little bit of a meme, by the way. I just want to point that one out. This is a little bit of a meme. It's rarely useful, but it has dead touch. 
And that's like probably the, the bi well, it's not probably the biggest thing. It is literally the biggest thing why it is in the deck. Not because of the mutate thingy, but because of the dead touch thingy. And that's severely, severely depressing. But at the same time, this has reach. That's a 4-4 now, and that goes bye-bye. Oh, yes, boys. Ah, I love it when the plan almost kind of comes together. And if you have Lava Coil, I will absolutely scream and blame Wizards for a shit game. And you don't. Good boy. Well, light up the stage. Oh, well, light up this. Well, you know. A classic, what can I say? Okay, let's see how are we going to do this. Well, we can play the Great Hinju, and that's like pretty much all that we wanted in life. And now we can do this, and it's amazing! Ah yes, boys, and then we can mutate this, and it doesn't actually do anything, but this is a six body, so we can actually win, and that goblin's gonna attack, and you know, it's not gonna have a good time, and it's... Well, I'm gonna have a good time, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. I'm not even gonna block, boys. Mostly because I want her to survive. I made a promise. And I don't break promises. Unless it's pointless. Ah. But that's what a good snake oil merchant does. He makes promises. And then completely forgets to fulfill them. But I am fulfilling my Patreon promise. Uh, that I made like, at least. No! No! Oh, the absolute horror! No, a troll bee! That's even worse. Like, come on, game. How can you... How, 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 is this, how is this okay? Well, you need to sacrifice something. And even, even sacrificing that gobbo at this point, honestly, is okay. So, and I'm also gonna... Well, I'm just gonna continue mutating because, hey, that's pretty good. Under. Ah yes, you need to sacrifice things. Haha, -ha. I have I have you in the trap of sacrificialnessness. Oh yes, boys. That's a spicy crab meatball. Now seriously, it looks like a crab. Oh wait, did you really sacrifice that? Wait, why? Can you play the gobos plus the Oh you can't! Get cooked! Absolute cookage! Get cooked! Cook, 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 cook! Ah, uh, good times. Okay, a Fable Passage is not the end of the world, considering we can get one green out of it, which is pretty useful in this time. Okay, so we're gonna do this. It's amazing. 10 out of 10. Look at that. Look at that. And he just surrenders. Boys? Best mutate deck ever. Admittedly, I will just admit flat out, we got lucky, but, you know, still. This is a pretty good mutate deck, considering we have fixed the problems that default mutate decks have. Let's see, we have two mastery orbs, which means we can put them in random places, because we don't exactly care at the moment. We're, we're filling up the masteries anyway, so it's cool. Also, what the hell is that? Wait, seriously, what is that? Okay, did I miss some kind of cool yo card or something like that? Let's see. No, 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 no. Do I not have something collected? No, I have absolutely everything collected that's a tricolor. Oh, that thing, if you do the thing without the stuff, it's that card. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I think it is. By the way, this does have its, uh, this, this does have uh, a lot of merit. But it does cost 5, and we're kind of already like a bit imp on the things. So yeah, keep that one in mind. But admittedly, you could get rid of two uh, emergent ultimatums and put this thing in. But I kind of just made it like this. But this is an option. Because casting this from uh, the graveyard does give you fixing possibilities. And this is, this is what this the mutate deck did. It fixed all the bad problems in the world. And by bad problems in the world, I obviously mean absolutely nothing. So, anyway, boys, this was the deck. It's amazing. 10 out of 10. Struggle Snuggle would probably hit Table Kun. Not again. Ah, 
I know you expected it, you dirty girl. But it's not gonna happen. Here, a light spank. Yeah, you like that. Anyway, where was I? A, well, being erotic with the table, but, you know, beyond that. Oh, something something ending video. Oh, right. So this was Quasar Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.